Alright everyone, this is BC. I'm going to show you how to make a palette. It's going to be really easy. So first of all click the palettes edit button in Fire Factory. Then where it says image or palette, you want to open an image. You want to, files of type, you want to search for a Windows bitmap. Load up your image. No colors will appear, so you need to click the optimize button. Which What that does is optimize the palette and now it shows the colors available or the actual colors in your image and you want to transfer the uh, background color over to this side so how you do that is you click the background color if you're not sure what the back the background color is click the color dropper tool and then click the background and it will highlight the color so yeah click the background color then on the other side you want to click the bottom right hand uh, box then click this button which says transfer colors and then it will swap it over this is actually your palette side, so this is going to be the palette you're going to make and save and use. Then to transfer the colours over you, you want to transfer them over preferably at the top, but you can do it in, uh, you know, transfer multiple boxes over. So click the first colour, then the, the next colour you want to transfer over and hold shift, then it will highlight a few boxes. Then click transfer selection which will reserve the boxes over on the other side then transfer colors again and it will push them over uh, do the same for the rest of the colors apart from the background color which is already at the bottom don't uh, if you're yeah if you're gonna transfer any more over and don't don't click on tra transfer selection you just wanna click the box there and there holding shift and then transfer the colors over so then you want to save that and save it as whatever you want. I'll just save it as normal. Then that's basically how you make your uh, palette file, your .act file. And if you want to add the image to that palette, you load it up again. Then you click use the same name of images, apply the palette on the images. Uh, find your, oh yeah, you want to save it as a PCX now. So. There we go. So you now have your your palette file and you now have your PCX file.